and I have sight in the house update guys. So I don't know why I get so emotional. I think it's because and my crazy hair right now with my rollers in I'm just letting it set this morning because I've just gone over it with the Dyson Airwrap the brush um, tool on it if that makes sense can't get my words out today but yeah my hair's like two days old but I've just gone over it and you can see it really does just give it that nice kind of like sleek shine back in the hair so I've just done that and then put the rollers in just to let it set and give it some volume on top hopefully but to be honest I feel like it's just going to drop anyway because the weather is looking very miserable and wet today it has been raining for like the past few days non-stop and what a typical Brit we start in a vlog and be moaning about the weather but on another note I've got a lot going on this week which is really exciting I'm actually going to the opera which is gonna be really nice with by rotation. They've sent a stunning dress, which I'll show you. I've also got a breakfast meeting tomorrow morning with Joe Malone, and then I've also got a few other events going on later in the week that I will be taking you with me, and I'm gonna do some shopping with Chris, because we are going to New York very soon, so I wanna do some shopping for that on the weekend. So I feel like I'm gonna be catching you up with everything that's going on, and also I have a new Farfetch discount code for you guys. So. You guys know how much I love and shop on Farfetch and like I said I've been picking up some new bits for my trip coming up and also I feel like when it comes to this time of the season before it gets into winter I always like to get my core staples so I've been getting some pieces which I'll be sharing with you and also the discount code I will leave it on the screen and I'll also leave it down below for you guys so you can use it because as always it's only for a limited time period. It works on selected brands so I'm going to leave all the T's and C's in the description so you guys can make sure you get use of it before it expires so I'm going to be showing you some new pieces in from Farfetch and get on with the weeks I feel like I haven't done a weekly vlog in a while I've obviously been doing my cozy autumn routine if you saw that very kind of like cozy autumnal vibes I've been doing what I wear in a week a lot of kind of fashion hauls I'm also wearing one of the pieces which is featured in that haul which is the Zara mango one so you can check that out as well. I feel like I'm trying to stick to my two videos a week and I promise I'm gonna try and stick to it moving forward and then obviously I'm gonna be vlogging when I'm in New York and then there's gonna be loads coming up with a festive period and I have sight in a house update guys. So I'm also gonna be sharing stuff with the house in this vlog as well. Okay, let me take these rollers out and then I'm gonna show you what I've had in from Farfetch. I look crazy. Okay, that will do. So I'm gonna show you what I've recently got in. One of these items you would have probably seen already. I mean, I completely wear it to death. And if you've seen my other Farfetch edits, you will know I'm obsessed with the Frankie Shop blazers. And I now have it in black because I honestly just feel like when you invest in a really good quality blazer, it will last. And the fact that I have it in the B style with the um other color which is kind of like the beige color i also have the gray one but the gray is a different style i'll link it down below for you guys because i actually wear it to death and then i thought i need to get the black one because if i'm wearing them so much i know i'm going to get my cross per wear out of this one and i didn't have an actual just really classic black blazer that was kind of like my go-to i've got a wool one and i've got other ones that have just kind of like different buttons and stuff on them but i wanted just a really classic oversized plain black blazer that i know will just go with so much of my wardrobe and when it comes to frankie shop blazers you know they are good i'm obsessed with them and it's it sounds really obsessive to say that I actually have three now, but it just goes to show how good these blazers are. And you will see them all the time over on my Instagram. I wear them over dresses in the evening. I wear them casual. You can just pair a blazer with everything. It's just such a good core staple. And it's really worth investing in a good quality one. So now I'm obsessed with the Frankie Shop. And also when you get it on Farfetch, you don't have the import fees, which is amazing. So obviously if you are looking at doing some shopping, you're in the UK, or even I believe if you're not in the UK, you will still not get the charges on the importing. So I got this in the extra small slash small. They come very oversized. So definitely don't recommend like upsizing in them. So yeah, this one fits perfect for me. I know some people this isn't their style, but I love that boxy oversized fit. 
So this is the blazer on, as you can see it is oversized. I always usually have like a little hair tie on the sleeves with I've got the hiccups where you can ruche them up. But even just with this outfit over this little set that I've got from Zara. And then I've just partnered it with my mango boots. But you honestly can't go wrong with just a good black smart tailored blazer. So this is the Isabel Morant bout and this has been on my wish list for a while and I just thought you know what I'm going to get it because I've actually got it in the tan colour and I wore it so much in the summer so I was like I want to get it in black and I think when it comes to having luxury items in your wardrobe if you've already got it and you know you wear it a lot in terms of like the other blazers that I've got in the different colours and then now I've got the black and at this bout I had it in tan so now I've got it in black just because I love them, I style them all the time and I know I'll get my cost per wear. This is the Lecce belt, don't come at me if I'm saying that wrong. Simply pull it through, you can either have it like loose like this, but I usually style it like looped under and pull it through and I just think this looks so nice. Cinched over blazers, you can obviously wear this through your loophole on your tailored trousers. It just brings in an outfit, I really do think accessories just elevate your outfits. And this is the belt over the blazer and you can see it just cinches in your waist. I feel like it just gives the outfit a whole different look. It's just a fun way to play around with accessories and how you can style them with your outfits. So this is just one way I've been wearing it over the blazer. Obviously you can wear it over different looks. But I actually quite like the black on black. And then you can also obviously wear it with like tailored trousers and put it through the belt loops. It's just really nice belt I feel like to have. And then as I've been talking about Frankie Shop so much... This is actually the colour of the blazer I have in the B style, so I wanted to get the tailored trousers to match. However, sadly, as beautiful as these are, I love the material, I love the colour and the fact it would just make a matching suit and then obviously I can wear them vice versa. If you watched my previous video, my Zara and Mango haul, that I've been on the hunt for a good pair of beige slash camel trousers. Like I said, I always just try and invest in good core staples, tailored trousers, blazers, accessories. And with these, I just thought they would be such a great fit with matching with a blazer, but sadly, they just don't fit well on me. Like the crotch is a little bit too long because I am on the petite side and also they are very long in the length. I'm going to try them on because they are beautiful trousers, so if you're not on the petite side like me, these would look perfect on you, they just don't fit right on me. Guys, I've got a bad case of the hiccup, <laughs> so sorry if I keep hiccuping whilst I'm trying to show you these pieces, but these are the trousers, now they are so beautiful, as you can see, the material of them, the quality, the way they just sit are just stunning, I love the darts going through it, I love how this comes across here, it also has the belt loop so you have the option of wearing it with a belt, and I love the colour, I mean I have the blazer, I wear the blazer so much, but I am on my tiptoes, I knew they would be a little bit long, which is fine because I could get them tailored, but I think I just maybe need to get the size down, these are the small one, I've got quite a bit of room here around the waist, and then also the crotch comes a little bit lower because I think they're just a little bit too big on me. Sorry, my camera battery died there. I had to quickly replace it. But the last piece I also got was this Anya Bing satin slip skirt. And I love this colour. It's like a gorgeous champagne colour. And again, I've been shopping around because I wanted literally this colour. I feel like a lot of them were kind of more like cool toned. And I like this was a little bit more warmer. And also it has the elasticated waist, which I just find a whole lot more comfortable. I love pairing satin skirts with like chunky knits. I think it looks so great this time of year. And then this is the satin slip skirt on. I just love this champagne colour. It's got a nice little slip so it gives it that movement at the side. Like I said, I just like wearing it with a chunky knit, having it quite casual. And then this will also look lovely dressed up in the evening as well. That I've been picking up from Farfetch. I've actually got some things in my basket which I'm going to be using my discount code on. And hopefully they will arrive in time for New York because with Farfetch as well you can do express shipping which is so great. So I'm going to hopefully get those pieces. I've also done a Farfetch edit of some of my favourite pieces as well if you want to shop them. The discount code and all the T's and C's you guys can definitely use it before it expires. But I'm going to crack on now for the rest of the day. I've got to get some work done. I've got to catch up on everything basically before I go away. Make sure I'm up to date with all of my admin and my deadlines. And then I'll probably be picking up with you guys later this afternoon or tomorrow when I'm off on my appointments and events. Because I'm really excited to go to the office. had a lovely breakfast meeting with Jo Malone at the Ivy in Kensington. I've never actually been to that Ivy before but the service was actually really bad today at that one um, whereas usually it's really good. Sorry there's drilling but how pretty is this street? I'm just on one in 
South Kensington. I'm just heading off now to another event, a lunch event this afternoon. Then I need to go back, sort Bailey out and get ready for tonight for the opera. I'm so excited for it. So I've actually slicked my hair back today, but I think I'm gonna keep it kind of slicked back, but maybe like a side part in, red lip, do a bit of wing liner. And I'm excited to show you guys my dress, but just off now to the second event. Today's quite back to back because I've been at home all week shooting content, like I said. And I'll also show you what is in my Jo Malone goodie bag because you just can't beat a Jo Malone gift. got the bike home so the bag got a bit squished in the bike and it's already getting late and I'm heading to the opera tonight like I said which is very exciting but I'm not gonna lie I think I've got like 30 minutes to get myself together and go to like a full-on glam event I need to sort my makeup my hair my outfit I don't know how I'm gonna do this in 30 minutes but here I am showing you what I've got from Jo Malone anyway but I'm gonna have a quick coffee and then sort myself out don't you just love the packaging of Jo Malone. It is so beautiful. I honestly gift Jo Malone all the time to Chris's mom, to his sister, to my sister. I actually got her a wedding present for her wedding and had it engraved. You can actually do it in the Regent Street store. Um, so let's see what they've given me in my box. I'm very excited. Ooh, lavender and moonflower diffuser. Let's smell this because I've never actually smelled this scent before. Mm, it's more of like a muskier, very more kind of like a deeper smell, which I actually like for more of like the autumnal and winter months. So I'm actually going to save that for when we move in the house. And then it obviously come with the diffuser sticks and a little bow. And then with it is the moonlit chamomile cologne. And it's in this beautiful bottle. It's like a dark blue colour. Again, I haven't smelled this one before. Mmm, actually... I can't make that out. It's really nice. It kind of actually, I thought it would be a bit deeper, like a more woody one, but it's actually quite light. That would be really nice as a day cologne. Some lovely gifts from them. And now let's get myself together. Sorry, this is going in and out. I feel like I need to have a quick coffee and then I'll catch up with you. I think I'm going to do a red lip. I never go for red. So I'm going to do red lip and maybe a wind liner and sort my hair out and I'll reconvene when I'm ready. Okay, so I got here super fast, champagne with the girls. Josie's dress is insane. It's from by rotation. <laughs> honestly stunning if you can see it's just like a room full of glitz and glam but we are going through now we've got champagne to watch the opera it's like me am i the drama why are we all yeah. so <laughs> but i do need to pee because Oh, oh my god, I'm Run singing over. right now. 
I'm gonna get blown up, I'm going to die. Because I think at the end when she just like jumped and she just went, oh, I'm going to die. And then she just died. Was, it, honestly, we just told them what happened. Guy. up the vlog since well just Friday I wasn't vlogging and it is Saturday today you want to be in the vlog he has just been in the park and had a bath that's why he's a little bit wet but we are about to head into Central and do a little bit of shopping today I need to do some returns we've got a week before we go to New York which I'm so excited for so we're just gonna get some last little minute bits for New York and it's actually quite a nice day so I'm going to show you my outfit because I'm not wearing a lot of layers today and also Chris's who is behind me, ignore the washroom. Um, yeah we're going to have a nice little day out, maybe go and find like a new little cocktail bar or something for a drink. I've actually seen one on TikTok, it's called The Red Room, I think it's at the Connaught so we're going to go try and find that. Maybe just have a drink afterwards and just have a nice little wonder this afternoon. <laughs> Bailey is really trying to get into this. So this is the look of the day today for shopping. It's actually quite hot today, so I don't really want to wear an extra layer because we went and walked Bailey earlier and we were both boiling with coats on. So I think I'm just going to have this jumper, which is my Zara one. I've been wearing this so much. It's such a lovely, like, cream. It's kind of cropped. I've just tucked it under my bra a little bit, but it's just one of those you can put with everything. Then this skirt is actually pretty old. I'm pretty sure I got this from H&M, like, a year ago, but I know that they've got some online, so I'll link them. And then I've got my Celine trainers out. I feel like I haven't worn these in a while, just to keep it comfy and casual on the bottom. And then my Lady Dior bag, which I've actually just put the long strap on, because I feel like whenever I wear it, it's always a bit more formal and I wear it as like a handbag but I'm gonna get the use out of it today with the strap on because it matches perfectly with like an all cream look it's quite sunny so I've got my Celine sunnies on some new jewelry pieces in from Majore and also some bracelets that I've got on as well but this one's Monica Veneda so I will link them I'm gonna be doing a bit of a jewelry video coming up so I know you guys have been asking for it and I've had some lovely new pieces in that I've been layering and actually Chris behind me his outfit is kind of matching so we'll have to do a breakdown because I'm actually feeling his outfit today and it's quite cream matching the battery just died on you so you gotta go real quick hat t-shirt jacket trousers trainers <laughs> Are they them, babe? No? I don't like them. I like the ones at the front more than me. Yeah. Oh, there's some. No. I actually prefer the ones at the front. So we're just in the New Balance store. I think this is actually a new one up the street. Just because we're looking for, I really want a pair of the grey ones. So I've just asked for the 550s in grey. Chris is also after a pair, he's trying to search them. Which ones do you want? Well, I mean, can they see that? Kind of. It's kind focusing of. on your face. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're both after. There we go. Someone find me these trainers, please. We yeah. think they're 993. We want to get them before we go to New York. So kind of match it, but... Kind of. Yeah. Same, same, but different. Same, same, but different. Yeah, we're going to see if they've got our sizes, because it seems like every trainer we like at the minute, they don't have our size. They didn't have my size. We're going to go Selfridges. I need to do some returns there anyway. I just want to have a little bit of a browse. Chris wants to find a nice tracksuit as well. We're on the hunt for these new balanced trainers. Oh, I like those ones. They're different. Okay, so those ones that we did see were five, seven, four. So I tried on the. I thought you didn't like the denim jacket when I saw. It. I showed saved it earlier. I like that guy's no. Oh, okay. Um, so I tried the Celine 
beanie on but I think I'm gonna get the other style where it actually has Selena at the front because it was a bit further up here the logo wasn't sure on it so I've actually just checked online and the guy in this um, salvage store was amazing the sales assistant he was so nice he wasn't pushy at all he was just like such a nice guy so I ended up just having like a good chin wound up with him um, but yeah we're just having a little browse now because having a look see if we can find a tracksuit I've picked up the camera and I'm having a very casual afternoon I've just been filming all morning and then I'm actually going out tonight for an event with me and Em which will be really exciting so it has been a few days since I picked it up because I last vlogged over the weekend when I was shopping with Chris and I was debating if to get the Celine hat anyway I've now ordered a different one and it's come so I'm going to try it on with you guys see what you think because I'm debating I don't know if I prefer this one or the one I tried on in store now so got that I've also had some lovely parcels come in that I'm going to show you as well just realized I've put my rings on the same finger here that's why it's been feeling weird so I've got some new bits I'm going to show you sorry I'm going off on a tangent my head is just everywhere because I've been on the phone um sorting all stuff out for the house this morning which I'm going to give you guys all the house updates I know it's been a while since I've spoken about it but we've got some exciting news which I'm really happy about I feel like <laughs> this whole process has been so long you guys like I'm exhausted by it we found this house back in summer if you guys watched the vlog I'll leave it here when we actually went and viewed it you can't see the house but obviously it was the day we went to view it the day we put an offer down and it's just been such an ongoing long process and I feel like when everyone said to me you know when you're buying a house it's very stressful it can take ages I'm quite like an optimistic person and I was just like yeah you know like it'll be fine no it has been or it still is the most stressful thing I think you can go through in life like one of and when people say that now I totally get it because I feel like half our time is just on the phone with solicitors the estate agent the mortgage advisor financial advisors it's just crazy and especially with the way the market is at the minute I'm sure you guys all know the situation. It is just hell. Um, you know, interest rates are going up. We're, go we're in the middle of a financial crisis. We're going into a recession. I feel like I never really talk about these kind of things on here because I kind of want to just keep it lighthearted. But this is just the reality. We're buying a house in just a crazy period of time with the market at the minute. So that has added a lot of extra stress and a lot of also backlog because of all the banks they a lot of banks have pulled out mortgages and the ones that are doing the mortgages obviously have a longer backlog so it's been taking a while for ours but mortgage is now all approved we are ready to go ahead we have basically gone over every hurdle possible we've had so many checks done on the house we actually paid extra because the front of our house is grade two listed we wanted to just be so safe so it cost us like a good amount of money but we just wanted to do extra checks extra surveys and it's paid off because things have been brought up that maybe we wouldn't have known if we had just gone with the original survey that we had so we're just being extra cautious it's causing a little bit more time and it's causing more money for the long run I think it's for the best so that's why it's been kind of going on for a little bit longer and also with being in a chain that also pushes things back we're in a chain both ways um so it's a lot it's a lot guys but end of my rant and I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel because we should be moving very soon we are just about to confirm our moving date and exchanging so Fingers crossed, it's looking very hopeful that we're going to be in before Christmas. Honestly, it makes me want to cry even saying that. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. I think it's because I am all good. I'm not going to ruin my makeup, although I would need to redo this for tonight because I'm going to an event with me and Em, which I'm excited for. 
but I think the whole process is literally made me emotional because it's been going on for so long to the point that we, you know, we were scared of losing the house and we are so in love with this house. We have hearts set on it and we've done so much work like behind the scenes, like just, like I said, like doing all the checks. We've been putting plans together. We've been on the phone with people for planning permissions. We've had contractors out there to make sure like, you know, the plans that we want to do can go ahead. Architects, I can't even name the amount of things that have been going on and I had no idea this had to happen for a house. It has just been so like mind boggling, interesting and it's just opened my eyes up completely to the property market. So I feel like I will probably sit you down and talk all about it because I know when I started this I said I'm going to be taking you guys along on the journey. A lot of it is personal but the reason I'm doing this is because I just feel like no one tells you at school what it's like to buy a house. No one tells you what you need to do. No one says that you need to, you know, solicitors, mortgage advisors, everything else that goes with it, architects, planning, construction. So the one tip that I have got from this whole rant is if you are looking at buying a house, I definitely advise to get a mortgage advisor because it's really, really helped us. And especially with everything that's going on with mortgages at the minute, we just feel like that is definitely one thing we were happy we've done. So I hope that kind of gives you some tip or takeaway. Not positive out of all of this, like I was saying, we've had really good news the past few weeks. Things have started to move a little bit more quicker and is looking very hopeful we're gonna be in by Christmas. So all of my Christmas trees, all of my wreaths, all of my decorations that are currently sat in boxes around the house can hopefully come out the box, we can move in and I can decorate and it just makes me so happy and so emotional because I feel like I've just worked my whole life for this house and we are finally nearly there. It's like nearly tangible for us. So I hope we can all keep our fingers and toes crossed that it all will be going ahead as planned. In the meantime, I've had some new pieces in which I want to share with you guys. Um, I've had some nice new pyjamas from Napco. I feel like this is the season to like cozy wear and like hibernate in. So I've had some pieces from there. Dior Beauty, a beautiful package. And I want to show you the Celine hat obviously since I've been shopping. So let's show you all of that and then I'm going to get myself ready for an event tonight. So, as you guys saw I was on the hunt for some New Balance trainers, the 550s and I could not find them in the New Balance store, Selfridges, I've been looking online all week and the Edit London have seriously come through and managed to source these babies for me and I am so happy right now and the fact they've gone to the effort as well to make sure they've sent them out in time for me to take to New York is just so sweet so they actually stock loads of trader brands on there and also really good like unique styles so this one has been sold out on most websites I was literally searching high and low it was not in stores either this colorway it is stunning I love the gray the black the white these are giving me like 90s sneakers that have come back around. Like New Balance was definitely like more dad trainers and they are definitely now back on trend and I love them. I love this 550 style and Chris ended up getting them in the rain cloud. But I feel like for women's sizes and these trainers, they're really hard to get. Men having a look on the Edit London because they managed to source really good kind of like unique pairs, different colorways, and even if you're looking at getting some like night dunks and stuff as well on there, so. It has all of a sudden gone really dark outside because the clocks have gone back or forward, either one, I'll lose count now. Obviously we are getting the darker evenings earlier. So, Celine Pass arrived, came in the cute little box. So this is the hat, I do love it, but I just feel like I don't know if I prefer the grey of the other hat. The other one's a little bit lighter, whereas this is kind of more of like a greyish grey, if that makes sense. But I love the grey and the cream. So when I was originally looking for a hat, I was thinking maybe more black. And I was looking at the Chanel ones, but I had my eye on these Celine ones last year and they sold out and I just couldn't get my hands on them. So I wanted to get it a little bit earlier this year because I saw the restock and this was the new colorway that they brought out. And as you can see, this is smaller here, like the actual beanie size is smaller and it has a bigger fold over compared to the one that I tried on at the weekend, which I'll put a picture on so you can see. So I need you guys' opinion. Do I keep this one? or do I get that one? But I feel like that one now might have gone out of stock because 
I feel like there was only one when I went into the Selfridges store. So let me try this on. Obviously, I would not be wearing it with this outfit. More of like an all cream look or obviously grey. But this is the hat on. I feel like you guys aren't getting the full feel for it because I would just not be feeling it with this outfit. But you can obviously see the shape and style of it. Whereas this one is shorter. It's not like as long on my head as the other one. And then obviously the other one had the logo here. Whereas this has actually got Celine across the front. So I keep this one and imagine it with like a grey wrapped coat or a like cream knit dress. I'm just envisioning how I'm going to wear it, like a nice cream high neck knit, maybe not a striped one because it's just too much. But I think this could be a keeper. And then I had a package from Napco. Now I got a few of their underwear sets. I love their underwear, it's so comfy. I've actually got the bra on now so you can see it because this is one of the, I think this is the comfort bra it's called. And you can see it is just such good quality and I wear them all the time. I've got them in the black, I've got it in cream and they're just so comfy just to wear like under your jumpers and everything. They're not like sexy lingerie, they're just comfort and for me comfort's key. And they've kindly sent me a lovely new pyjama set. I'm going to have to take this hat off because it looks ridiculous. So I think this is one of their newer colourways and this is the Oat. Honestly, I can't recommend their pyjamas enough. They are the softest, butteriest feel when they're on. And for me, I just love a good pair of new PJs when it comes to like the cozy season. I'm ready to hibernate and I'm ready to just be my comfies. So this is the set and it has this lovely white piping going through it, the little pocket detail. I can't tell you how beautiful the material is though. It's so soft and these are so comfy. You can see they're elasticated. So I went for size small and I just like them a little bit bigger, you know, loose. You just can't go wrong with a good pair of PJs. So I'm excited to get into these later tonight when I get back from the event. So I'm gonna get myself together now because I've got to go to the event tonight with me and Em. They've sent me a lovely black sparkly dress. So I'll show you when I'm all done and ready because at the minute, no one wants to see me going out looking like Okay, so quickly, before I leave, obviously it is a Me and M event, so I'm wearing a Me and M dress, but it was a little bit long, so I've just pulled it in at the waist, if you can see with my Isabel Morant belt, so just kind of like tucked it over. So all the glitz and glam with the black sequins, and then I've put my Frankie Shop blazer over the top, just because I wanted it a little bit oversized. I've got these new earrings in. These are actually clip-ons from ASOS, and then I've just put my hair, like, half back and then I was thinking of doing a black bow but I think the bow was too much with the earrings so I'm going to get Chloe's opinion on it and then I'm wearing my dear Francis heel boots I love these they're like the perfect height so they're actually pretty comfortable and my Chanel bag so my taxi's outside and I best go just in the taxi I thought I would show this with for you I recently got this light off Amazon I mean it's not doing anything here but when it's like here it's a lovely kind of like selfie nightlight, if you can see. It gives you a good glow and you can change the settings on it if you can kind of see here because it's bumpy in the car. Like you can have it a little bit more warmer, brighter, dimmer. Um, so yeah, when I'm out and about for these evening events, it is easier for me to shoot. So I'm just on the way now. I'm going to meet Chloe before. And this looks ridiculous, me holding this and the camera at the same time. but. I'm gonna meet her before and hopefully shoot, but it's just started to rain, so it might be a bit tricky. I ended up not going with the bow. I feel like it was just gonna to be too much with the earrings as well. But I will also link this dress because it's a beautiful one for me and Em and perfect for like the upcoming festive season, even if you're thinking about New Year's already.